Hello there and welcome to my channel. This is a laser that I bought, a handheld laser off of eBay with uh, 450 nanometers and this is what you get in the box when you buy it. It costs $63 off eBay. I've been checking out um, lasers online, finally decided to buy one. This one uh, is supposed to be a pretty good one. It's $63 is what I paid for it on eBay. Let's see what you get in the box. Comes in a pretty cool looking little case here, as you can see. Perfect carrying case for it. Um, that way you have everything in one box and you don't have to throw it in a bag or anything like that. But let's see what you get. Okay. As you can see, you get four batteries. You get some goggles, which aren't the best goggles because because these lasers are supposed to be pretty bright and they can really damage your eyes in a split second. So I bought some more goggles that are supposed to be better. But you get this charger where you can charge two batteries at a time. And you get some five star caps which give you some really cool effects that you can shine on different things, you know, like your walls or outside and really cool effects. And the laser itself is right here. It has a great feel to it. I chose the black one over the silver. Um, it's got a great feel. It doesn't feel cheap. The button doesn't feel cheap to turn it on. You can also adjust the beam right here by turning this. Especially if you want to burn stuff, you'll need to adjust that beam. It's a really small beam. Pretty much screwed all the way in to uh, light stuff on fire, which I'll have to try that and see how it works but you just unscrew where the button's at the switch whatever you want to call it, it takes two batteries at a time it's like a hair or something in there part of the plastic um, make sure you put the batteries in the right way like that I'll turn it on here in a second, but um, you definitely have to get some goggles on. I messed with one of these like this one, and last night my eyes are already hurting because sometimes I forget to put the goggles on, so hopefully my eyes will be okay. But um, so here's the goggles that you get. These these would probably be pretty good for some of your cheaper lasers, but the beam is so bright with this laser that you really need to have um. As much protection as possible that's why I bought some better goggles which I'll leave a link in the description of the goggles that I bought and I'll probably do a video on those goggles too so you can check them out but anyway let's um, check out the little star caps too these just screw on like this and you have to make sure you right here is where you need to get your fingers to tighten it this part turns so if you try to tighten it like that it's not going to tighten so it's kind of hard to get it in there but once you get in there so you can sit there and turn that all day and you'll think well it's stripped out but it's not actually stripped out you just got to get your fingers it's really hard to get it down on the bottom like that and then as you're shooting the beam on the wall you can turn this for different effect, different effects, which is pretty cool. And don't want to bore you too much, but this is what you get when you purchase the laser. You get your glasses, you get four batteries, you get a battery charger, four star caps, and this cool carrying case. All right, let's see if we can burn this piece of vinyl here. I can definitely see it smoking. I'm sure you could probably see that. This is vinyl, like a vinyl decal, which you make vinyl decals out of. Definitely. Catch that on fire. Here's some bubble wrap. It might be harder to see it. It definitely was smoking just a little. 
Um, for some reason, black will catch on fire easier than any other color. That's why you see that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I guess you could uh, burn somebody. I don't know if it'd burn your skin. I'm not going to try that. But anyway, it's a pretty cool laser. Definitely will catch stuff on fire with it. Can get in trouble with it. 450 nanometers. Sorry if I'm talking funny. Anyway, I can start to smell the burning now of that vinyl. 